Oh, so it is running. Okay. Hey, everybody. I gotta scratch my back. We're in Laurel Park. As you can see from the sign in front of me, Laurel Park is a neighborhood in Sarasota. And this road is Osprey Avenue. And this road is Brother Geenan Way. My, I should spell it, spell it for this guy. I'll just slow down real slow. So right in the middle of the video so I can see him slowing down there. Don't you love it when cars cooperate when you're trying to shoot a, shoot a video and their cars are slowing down? And... All right, let's look at this sign. Brother Geenan Way. If you live in Sarasota or you're, you're coming to Sarasota, you can come to this area and you'll know where I am. That's why I always like to shoot the signs and like stuff like this where it says Laurel Park. <clears throat> you know, while we're just sitting here, look at this little tiny building. Look at look at look how wide this building is. We in Florida we call these cracker houses. Wow, look at all the traffic. Here comes a big bus. Look at all the traffic here today. I'm slightly frustrated by traffic, but moving on. Look at this little building. It says it's not for rent. It's managed by Cyprex. To report a problem, call this such and such and such. But look at, I don't know if you can get some kind of, here I'm going to set the camera down here for a second. You can get some kind of comparison to how big I am. Look at, look at how big this building is. It's like, <laughs> I don't know if that helps, <laughs> comparison size. But it looks like this, the front of this building is about 8 feet wide or 10 feet wide. Isn't that crazy? You know, my ADD, attention dimwit disorder, makes me sort of go off on tangents and things. Do you ever, um, where you live, or have you ever seen really cool benches like this in Sarasota? Yeah. I can't get a shot of it. There we go. Do you remember in the old days they used to paint, um, oh, the brain's not working. You know, it's not that early in the morning, but it's still brain function. I keep telling myself I need to drink a stiff cup of coffee before I come out here so I can sort of, brain will start spinning and the wheels will start going and function, talk, and all that good stuff. So, be benches, back to benches. Sorry, this is going to be a little stop starty. Do you have benches like this where you live? With like little murals? Like this is like a little fish mural. Can you hear music? Listen, listen for a second. Now that the, now there's no traffic, can you hear that music? I think there's a live band playing in the park. It's a couple blocks over. All right, so we established that there's Laurel Park here. And then there's a cool bench right here. The actual thing that I wanted to show you is down here because this is like a little public walkway right where it crosses here by this uh, cur courtesy cleaners drive through. It's not really a, it's not a street. It's basically a sidewalk. So uh, this area is a real wide sidewalk and it's like Sarasota prides itself on its uh, county parks, public parks, and they do a lot of maintenance of their parks. You can see there's some nice bushes here, and they plant a lot of nice trees here so they can have, I'm assuming they're promoting people walking, fitness, and like I like to jog, and that's how I ran into this, because I jogged through this neighborhood, the Laurel Park area off Osprey. And I try to jog down different streets, so I'm, I'm exploring new areas all the time. So, sometimes I just see houses, just normal stuff. And uh, I, this area is pretty old. Sarasota, I don't know exactly when it was founded. People started coming here in the 1800s. And um, I think they were incorporated somewhere 
before the 1920s, somewhere around there, as an actual town, but people were, you know, building houses and stuff like that. And so some of these houses that are, are still here that are 1920s, 1930s, you know, there's, I'm sure there's older ones that are, I think there's a few that are from, from the 1800s, actually, in the downtown area. There's, like, the office buildings. So there's also this street, um, which comes up to this little miniature parking miniature parking area right here there's one regular spot right here and there's one oh I'm in the wrong spot there's one handicap spot right there handicap spot and plenty of bicycle parking if you are bicycling plenty of bicycle parking here but there's also this I'm tempted to do an Adam the Woo because I watch his videos all the time a shonka conka kong kong. <laughs> it didn't even sound close. Shonka conka kong kong. That's for you, Adam. A boat launch. I've never seen them build one in a little small because this area is really not that big. I mean, if you, I'll give you a little pan here. Like from about where this building is, right over to this parking lot, that's as wide as this land is. So it's just like a little public eaves, eavesment. Can I say that? An easement that's in it easement there's this boat ramp which is not the tor typical the torpical it's not a torpical boat ramp it's the kind that you would put in like a canoe or a kayak because they have these posts that keep you from like backing a trailer in there it says something oh it says oh it can be slippery so they built this thing that I just discovered. I had no idea it was here. There's not really any signs that say public boat ramp. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, it's like this little neighborhood is kind of a cut off little neighborhood from the rest of the uh, neighborhood. So you have to know the right streets to come down here because there isn't a main street that comes straight here. You have to kind of uh, jig and jag. And... But check out these. Uh... Oh, there's a little lizard right there. Hello, little lizard. Would you like to be on film? He's very shy. He went into his hole. He has a special hole down there where he hides. Um, if you look at the fortified <laughs> wall, I don't know what to call it, a seawall or embankment wall. They poured some heavy concrete here. And it's funny because normally a boat ramp would just be grass. I'll back up a little bit. Grass right here and then just like a concrete pave area. That's what most boat ramps look like in this area of Florida. And I'm, I'm going to caution myself to be very, very careful because if you look, it's got, wow, you, can you hear that? Can you hear that sound? Listen, I'm going to put the camera over here. Can you hear that sound? Does it make like a kind of a robot sound? Or do you have to be right next to me? Robot sound, robot sound. Have you ever been, <laughs> have you ever been in a place where it was like a circular uh, concrete wall and then you speak and all the sound comes back to you and you hear your own voice like an echo that's what it, that's what it's sounding like all right so there's a lot of gunk <laughs> for a better word lack of for lack of a better word there's a lot of gunk uh it's very gunky here look it's this stuff it's very sludgy you see that so can you get a good shot of that it's very sludgy right here so when i came over yesterday i actually Oh, and I forgot to tell you, there's a bridge right there, too. There's actually an aluminum bridge crossing to that neighborhood over there, which is really interesting because bridges are pretty expensive. I don't really know in terms of actual dollars how much a bridge costs, but I can tell you that it's not cheap. All right, so it's very overcast. Just, you know, I, I'm, I'm just in the habit of mentioning weather, and I'm getting in the habit of mentioning the weather and the date so you can just get a feel for the day and why the picture looks so gloomy is because it's very overcast today. Today is, I believe it's the, 20, the 20th or the 21st, November 21st, I believe. I'm going to attempt to walk in this, okay? <laughs> what does this little sign say? You see that right there? Str strange fruit. You see that? It's like a little, uh, somebody spray painted that on there. Strange fruit. All right, so I'm going to attempt to walk into this murky, murky. I know it's going to be cold, too. There are my shoes. I'm walking into the murky. 
This is for you guys. Oh man, it's really soft and like squishy too. I'm attempting to walk. I want to get some shots of these like little rocks. There's a whole bunch of crabs over here. Oh man. You know, I don't mind like getting in the water. You know, there's a little bird in that tree right there. He's making he's making enough noise to make it sound like there's like a bald eagle over there. I'm not afraid of getting in the water. My shoes are sticking too. <laughs> My shoes are sticking to the bottom. Like uh, the mucky part. And I'm like, I'm afraid I'm going to fall too. And I don't want to like fall and have the camera. Oh, it's getting a little deeper here too. But you know, in these inlets, this is, um, oh, I forgot to mention. This is Hudson Bayou. We're going to go walk over the bridge and hopefully it's not going to take me forever. But this is Hudson, a little piece of Hudson Bayou right here. So, oh, there's some little fish right there. I know they're going to be hard to see, but they're like right there. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see. You know, it's not very sunny today, so. But I just kind of wanted to creep over to these rocks to see if there's any crabs over here. There is, there is those little tiny, tiny, tiny ones. You see that little black thing right there? You probably can't see it. Stink. It's kind of stinky too. I'm, I'm almost afraid to get on these rocks because they probably have a lot of green slime on them too. A lot of green slime. Very slimy. I don't even know. It feels like a big sponge. Ugh. Kind of yucky. It would be a lot clearer if the sun was out. You could see through the water. Anyway, yesterday I was over. I was over in that area, and I saw some crabs actually crawling along the rocks that were pretty neat. Look at look at the underside of this bridge. Actually, now that we're down, now that we're under the bridge like a troll, look at the underside of this bridge. I I don't think I've ever seen an aluminum aluminum beam bridge like this. Like uh, normally you, it would be like a concrete bridge, but the whole thing's made out of aluminum, which is really interesting. All right, now my feet are all squishy. I thought that would be more fun to get into the water, you know, and kind of, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm stepping on sponges. It's like a spongy, <laughs> spongy kind of yucky, yucky water, spongy. I don't know. It's like SpongeBob in the water. Now my shoes are all wet. Can you hear the sloshing? Listen. All right, so we're gonna go over the bridge and check that out. But it's very, let's get another look at this interesting boat launch. It looks like they spent a couple dollars on. Sarasota County, like I said, is very proud of their park areas. They do, they actually collect an extra, an extra cent tax, a sales tax to pay for like public projects like that. So, and like uh, <clears throat> normally you'd pay six cents sales tax in Florida or Sarasota and it's seven cents, I think. So that extra penny pays for all these crazy things. <laughs> That made me very tired for some reason. Why would stomping in a... Okay, here's the bridge. And if you know anything about bridges, look at this, it says, it actually has a sign. Gator Bridge, Durable Pedestrian Bridges. So, if you need a bridge, call Gator Bridge. And there's also um, some concrete spillway. I like to call that a spillway, actually, right there. But the very unusual bridge. Look at this bridge. I've never seen it. I've never seen an aluminum bridge. I wonder if it's like they order it, they build it in a shop, they put it on a big truck, and they just ship it here. Because it's not a huge, huge, huge bridge. But I wonder if I can walk down there without falling. This is probably where I should have went in, actually. This area, dangerous, treacherous area. I see a lizard down there. Some lizards popping around down there. This dangerous area that I am not going to fall on. Whoa. All right, it's not as slippery as I had hoped. Spill. Oh, that part's slippery. Yes. This part is goopy. See that? See that goop? Goopiness? Whoa. Did you see those fish jump? Right there? You know. Okay, so this, this part's about maybe a foot deep. This part over here is about a foot deep, and this part is, I don't know, 
like a foot, a couple, six inches deep in some parts. This, I'm, I should, when I say this, I should show you this part. This part right here is um, a couple inches deep. And they have little fish. I can see little fish in there. And like I said, this is brackish water, which means basically the salt water, it's a salt water uh, bayou that comes in from, wow, those fish are making so much noise over there. Watch, watch that for a second. Right there. <laughs> okay, so the salt water that comes in from the bay comes into this bayou and makes it kind of, uh, they call it brackish. So it's sort of like half fresh water because there is, there is um, what do they call that, drain water that comes in from the streams to go out to the, the ocean. And so it's a little bit of a mix. So you do, you do get, how you doing? You do get salt water in this water. So there'll be like a lot of saltwater fish, but there'll also be like little turtles and stuff too. It's kind of an interesting. So here's the spillway, and this is like the low spot. And you can see whenever this uh, this gets filled up, like if it rains a lot, you'll see the little uh, the water there overflow. So it's this little spillway is meant to maintain a level. Those fish keep jumping over there right behind me. It's meant to maintain a level of water, so this isn't completely empty. So, you know, I don't know why. I would just assume that, you know, all the little creatures that live in there aren't going to get, uh, die because they can't, you know, get water and all that stuff. There's like a lot of rocks and stuff in here. Okay, so, more fish jumping, more fish jumping. I was going to talk about a little bit about the fishing. Do, do, do little fish jump because there's a, there's a whole bunch of them right there. All right, now I'm going to hold the camera still. Look right there. And you can see some little brown fish right there. Can you see those little brown fish? There's like dark green and then there's little brown things in there. I don't know if you could see that, but I can't identify. They're like, they call, they call them juvenile fish. But every once in a while, they like flip out. They flip out and they make a big splash in it, and you think that there was a tarpon or something huge fish in here because the water splashes all up. And when I'm talking to you, I hear this big splash over there. So anyway, there was some uh, crabs, man. I don't want to go down in this stuff. There was a bunch of crabs over here too, but I bet you they're all hiding now because they heard me come. You know, crabs. Crabs, pick up. Well, actually, I can actually walk up this way. Hopefully I won't fall on any rocks. If I fall on any rocks, can you call the 911 for me? Okay, cool. All right, so that was a very rocky embankment. All right, so there's a new neighborhood right here going in. I meant to look up on, um, this is gonna be a long vlog, a, a long vlog. Did they say a long vlog? A long vlog? All right, so. I meant to look up what was here before because this is a very old, so I was kind of talking before about how this Laurel Park area is near the water and as far as, as far as my amateur historical, archaeological, uh, um, you know, uh, online digging has found out that a lot of the people who settled in Sarasota, say in the 1800s or early 1900s, built near the water, I think because of boat access, because there was no bridges and there was no, there was probably crappy roads. So people started building toward the water and then worked their way inland, further inland, unless it was like a cattle ranch where they built like way out west with like a lot of grass and stuff. But this, there's a lot of bayous here. There is a, uh, there's a new house going up right there, two story, and there's some new houses right there. See, I, I kind of want to do this a little bit as a as a public record so we can, when these houses get put in, we can come back and we can look at the progress that's been made with the uh, the buildings. So those are all lots right there are going to be houses. So this, probably in the next year, those houses are all going to be sold and put up and this neighborhood's going to be all filled in. All right, so we're going to scramble on over here. I actually came here yesterday and then last night I came with my girlfriend. And uh, 
there was a, my girlfriend doesn't like critters, raccoons or anything. We came up on this uh, little dock right here area, and there was a possum sitting right where that, uh, that concrete slab is right there, where the light, something was moving because it was dark over here. And I think the little dude scrambled over there into the woods. But you, uh, if you look at this, there's stairs here. It looks like there was actually a house right in this area. And I'm guessing in that area too, there was probably a house because this is really not like a public park or anything. But the other thing I want to say real quick, when I came over here yesterday, there was some huge splashes over here. This is a deeper section of Hudson Bayou. So that little tributary Remember when I was talking about the birds jumping around the bushes? There's a bird jumping around right there. See him? There he goes. See that bird? He was making tons of noise. You know, some days I think the animals and the critters are out to sabotage my video because in the fish too. They're all against me and they're trying to sabotage my video. There's even a boat. Um, what do you call these things? A cleat? Is that a called a cleat? A cleat thing? There's some funky water taps there. Some kind of watery. And, um... You can see there's what's left of a, a dock right here. This dock. I heard somebody hitting something with a hammer. But this, okay, so that small tributary over there, it's real narrow. You can actually, it comes out where this bigger part of Hudson Bay is. And Hudson Bay goes across Mound Street, because I looked it up on the map. Whoa, did you see that? There's a huge splash right there. This is what I was talking about what happened yesterday. Is I came out here and there was these huge splash and I actually I actually looked down and saw some pretty good snook. You know how people <laughs> I'm gonna put you down for a second. You know how people say, that fish was this big, <laughs> or like, oh man, that thing must have been like three feet long. Well I think it was about this big. Because I've actually when I've you know been fishing, I can kind of gauge when I've caught fish. But I've seen snook that are two and three feet long. You can kind of see better over here because it's a lot sandier, but I'm not, no, I'm not going to walk in that marsh because you can see how yucky it is. Um, right here, all the muck, the green muck stuff. But there's remnants here of a fence and a seawall and a Fanta bottle right there. Fanta, don't, I don't know what flavor it is, but... There must have been um, the person who had the property right here. So you can see some more stairs here too. And there's like a fence. This is old, old school fencing when you see these like little tubes like this. You see that tube? This old thin stuff. Old school. So this made this whole Hudson Bayou. Wow, I think I never fish just jumped right there. Let's uh let's put the camera out here just for a second. Because I think there's some big fish right here. Jumping. Even though it's pretty dark, you can still see... Whoa, whoa, did you see that? He's, he's swimming. You can see him right there. Look, look right there. There's like two or three big ones. Cruising. Did you see that? I, ho I hope you did. I can't tell what kind of fish that is. He, he was right there. And like I startled him or something. And he like flew over there with a big... He took his tail and went... That was pretty crazy. So, I think this is like Dairy Queen or like Burger King for big fish in the, right, right in this area here because the big fish will come out and look for the little tiny fish and come out here and just have a little munch, munch, munch. Oh, I, didn't, I don't know if I finished saying, this Hudson Bayou goes across Mound Street. Uh, on the other side of Mound Street, it cuts and takes a right and actually goes out to the Gulf. So a lot of these places that have boats and stuff, they could take the bayou to Sarasota Bay. So let's get another gander of, so you can see how these docks probably be, uh, belong to a building, maybe an apartment building or a house that was here. But now they're just kind of vacant and they've, looks like they've kind of been torn down somewhat. Pretty interesting area. I've been jogging downtown for a little over a year, a year and a couple months, and I've been really exploring a lot of the downtown area to get a feel for where things are, and I like to look for historic houses and just get, uh, it's just interesting to see new stuff.
since I kind of started jogging, you know, rather than just go to the gym and jog. Um, wow, we're at 25 minutes already. It's a long walk. Rather than just go to the gym and sit and watch TV or something and run, I like to see something cool when I am out. Um, I'm trying to figure out what these buildings are here. I think this building is some kind of senior living apartment thing. We'll take a we'll take a little. We'll take a couple more minutes. I was going to tell you what road this one is. Um, I think this is Alderman, maybe. Uh, Alderman Street or something. This one. So if you actually wanted to drive right up to that bridge, you could drive. There's really no parking there, but if you're curious to where it was. So here's a new house that's being built, two-story block building. Should be pretty big. As far as I know, those are, those are a single family. You got a couple lots in there. They are a building, building. There is a lot of stuff going on downtown. Um, you can actually see there's a house right there being built, right there. And that was my, I was posing like a model. I was doing the prices right. It's like, isn't that how the hell they do it? Or do you start off like this and you just kind of, that's a new home right there. You can win this. Um, you can kind of see that there's some um, construction sort of behind those trees. There's a lot of... Uh, high-rise construction right now and there's Daniel Boone or Paul Bunyan chopping over there he's got an axe he's chopping you can see all the wood getting ready to go out so it's this whole block with that's and that's what I'm curious about is since this neighborhood is so old there's it's pretty much every parcel of land had some kind of building on there pretty much so what was here before they started building this? Was this just empty for like ever and ever? Or I don't know. Because I've, I've jogged near this, but I just haven't jogged. Uh, I, think, I think I'm starting to ram incoherent, <clears throat> incoherently now. But uh, just a very interesting area. Um, like I said, if you're in Sarasota, you can come down here and check it out. So neat that they put that bridge in so people can just sort of have... <clears throat> uh, place to walk you can they, they like to have um, they, they've tried to plan it to where you have like uh, miles of walkways and park access so you can walk like down to the beach or you can walk you know d down to I don't know what you'd say 41 down there and they're like promoting a fitness or a relaxing lifestyle where you can just walk through neighborhoods and this is a nice area to walk through because it's not super busy with traffic. I like to jog down here because it's just uh, it's just interesting. There's all kinds of downtown is a mix of business buildings and offices and houses and historic houses. So it isn't like the one thing I don't like about Sarasota. I was thinking about this yesterday. Is the planned communities where it's like one gate at the front, and the whole community is inside there, and there's no side streets. You know, the old, the old Sarasota was planned to where it was sort of like an open community where all the streets... Okay, there's another noisy bird over there. Where is he? Noisy bird. Why are you trying to sab... Oh, there, it's noisy squirrel. There's squirrel right there. Why are you trying to sabotage my video, squirrel? If I had some nuts, I would give you a peanut. And there's Red Robin. It's actually a blue... something blue jay. All right, getting off track. So, the whole gated community thing, I think, is not as, it's not as friendly and open. It's like, you can't come in our community unless you live here, and we don't want crime, and we don't want you to come in our community and be, you know, some of these communities actually have businesses inside there, and it's not like promoting local businesses. And, okay, end of rant. But downtown, in a positive way, is very open. All the streets, you know, go through, and you can go for miles and miles downtown and there's just a mix of buildings that were built in like maybe 1910, 1920, 1950s, 1960s. It's really interesting styles. At some point uh, we will be doing a vlog 
down this way where I went the other day where it's a really neat little community with a one-way street that goes through there and some really cool buildings. Right now, I need to go because this vlog is hitting 30 minutes now. Can you believe we've been talking for 30 minutes? You people that decided, that had the focus to stay with me the whole time, I appreciate it. Hey, I um, raise money for trips when I go for uh, vlogs through Spreadshirt.com. So the address would be, you'd type in johnswift.spreadshirt.com, a little bit of each t-shirt and like, like I have t-shirts and mugs now and there's actually a hoodie it's like 30 bucks or something that was like the cheapest one I could find with my logo on there the one I designed I call it the jumping man it's kind of like uh, me jumping over something it's like a kind of a little little uh, representation of you know my journey and um, I appreciate it if you go check that out if you like some shirts some of the shirts are like 11 bucks so like with shifting it's like 15 did I say ship, shitting or shifting? With shipping, you don't ship your pants, okay? Um, if you if you buy an $11 shirt, it's around $15.99, so that's not a huge amount of money, but it helps me out. Helps me fund some of my adventures, like when I go out of town. Sometimes I go to Fort Myers, I go to Tampa, or I go to um, that place I can't remember the name of, or St. Pete, which I'm trying to do more of. Next weekend we'll be going to... Uh, I think the Orlando area, <clears throat> there's a cheerleading competition that my granddaughter's going to, so my voice is starting to giving out now, so now I should really sign off. Check out my other channel, Mr. John Swift 200. John Swift is always J-O-N, no H. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and a great weekend. See you later.